Okay, Aaron, uh, that all ended well, but uh, you were 4 1 up. Um, that last 20, 25 minutes, that put a few grey hairs on you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you get your two points, we probably could have finished that game a lot easier on, on ourselves. Um, you know, credit to them, they pulled the goalie with four and a half minutes out. We went ice a couple pucks, and we probably could have just got chip outs and, and we got some fresh legs on there and, and wore them down. Um, you know, for whatever reason, the, we broke a little bit down the stretch there. As a coach, we talk about playing a 16-minute game, and I loved our game for 50, 55 minutes tonight. I thought we were outstanding. I thought we, that first 40 was arguably one of the best 40-minute first two periods we played at home, for sure. Um, I thought we were hard on the pucks. We were disciplined. We played fast. We put them under pressure. The goalie made a couple saves there that were that kept them in the game. Um, I think they keep coming, and they got that early one in the period, and then, you know, a couple six-on-five goals. So... A little disappointing how it finished, but entertaining game and, you know, all the way to the points. It was like a playoff final at the end. Yeah. But, but what would that 0-3 uh, third period, was it, down, was it down to misplaced passes? Was it no, down just little details. It's, you know, pucks, hockey's a game of inches. There's a couple there where that were icing by about a stick lane. Um, two shots from, seeing eye shots from the point that it looks like we're in good lanes that just find their way through. You know, there's, you know... Uh, at the end of any game, you know, there's going to be little details that you got to dial in on. We lost three, three out of four draws there in the D zone. Um, you know, just just little little things that, you know, if it takes a bounce the other way, there's, it's not an issue, but they found the back of the net on us there. At 4-2 up, uh, you could see them growing in confidence. Um, was there some anxiety in your team that you sensed? No, I don't think there was any anxiety until they scored that fourth one, to be honest. Then, obviously, there was the low on the bench, you know, you're, they pull a goalie with four and a half and they see a nice shot makes it 4-3. There's still plenty. We had a couple, like I said, we had a couple opportunities with pucks on our tape inside the blue line that it's just, you just got to make a soft little play, get pucks out and go chase it down. And we ice them and we get caught out there and, you know, just got to be better. On the positive side, Mitchell got a couple of goals and probably a few stitches as well. Did that do his confidence good, do you think, that? Yeah, I think, you know, that's the type of player he is. He's, he's a kind of no-nonsense North player that gets to the hard areas and both those goals came right in the crease tonight. Um, first one with a tip rebound goal and, then, you know, the other one's a screen tip as well. So it's, it's, good, it's good to get him a couple of bounces tonight. And a word on Scott Allen, it might not be amongst the goals, but there's few people work harder than him, is there? Yeah, absolutely. Tremendous two-way forward for us. Um, you know, that line in general is, was outstanding. I thought him and Champ probably could have had three or four shorthanded goals tonight. They, I think they created two two-on-ones and a breakaway a shorthanded tonight. So, you know, they're, they're a key part of our success right now. What did he say to the team at the end of that game? I know you only had about 10 seconds with it, with all the other things you've had to do. Yeah, no, I just said, you know, I love 50 to 55 minutes of our hockey game. Obviously, there's some situational hockey that we need to be a little bit better at in key times. And, you know, we don't, uh, we don't play till Saturday now, so we'll have a day off tomorrow and get back to work, get back to work Friday. Okay.